Welcome to part 8 of our op camera flash series and I would just like to talk about the Mini TT1 and the TT5. What's interesting about the TT1 is it is just a transmitter. So it just transmits ETTL information or ITTL information if you're using uh, Nikon cameras. I'm using Canon cameras so basically it's transmitting some nice ETTL information and I basically just mount the Mini on my camera, so it's nice and small. Uh, if you're interested in a, in a uh, transceiver solution, you could also use just the uh, TT5s alone too. So you could use a pair of TT5s to transmit as well. And essentially, the TT5 is pretty cool because you could run it in three different modes, the transceiver mode, the transmitter only mode, and the receiver only mode too. Best of all, the TT5 runs on standard AA batteries and you can also sync this up to your cold shoes and my favorite cold shoe is the uh, Frio cold shoe. The Flex TT5 does have an antenna that folds out and it reviews a, reveals a USB port in there. So I'm going to show you how this works. So I'm just going to hit the uh, test button and once it fires it should show up as red. I might be too close here which is why it's not firing. So let me just try to move this further away. There we go. So I have to I have to be in a certain range before it fires. Otherwise, when they're too close, they uh, negate each other. So just just so you're aware when you're when you're just testing this out, it needs to be like just a little distance in there. And it's very interesting. So my camera's ETTL information gets transmitted to the TT5. And I'm just going to go ahead and sync my 580 EX2 flash on here. And I'll just lock the hot shoe and turn it on. And pretty cool. So if I just hit the test button, it fires. Hit the test button again, and it fires. So very cool. And we could do this all day long until the batteries start to drain out. And as you can see, it's a, it's a very nice and very cool solution. Uh, Range-wise, we get some pretty nice range with this. It's not as good as the the uh, uh, Pocket Wizard Plus 3s or Plus 2s necessarily, but nothing really beats having that, that functionality of transmitting ETTL information or ITTL information if you're using uh, Nikon cameras. So when you purchase these, you need to make sure you purchase one for Canon or if you're using Nikon, you purchased a Nikon version. Thanks for watching, and remember, everything matters.